I don't know, man, that seems like a dunk. I actually think Meta doesn't get enough credit. The pivot towards VR, AR was a good one. It failed, but it was a good attempt to take. And Zuck took it with full force, and now he's trying again with AI. I got to give the guy credit for buying WhatsApp, for buying Instagram, for keeping the company going, even the transition to mobile and now to AI, and always innovating. So, and look at where they are in AI. They're further ahead than Google. <laughs> They're further ahead than anybody except Microsoft and OpenAI, who basically started the whole thing. So I actually think, oh, I wouldn't bet against him. I'll put it that way. Brian and I were discussing this today, how Zuck just doesn't get enough credit. He's a founder who stuck it through. He's pivoted the company multiple times. He takes big bets. He hires good people. And he's starting with a property that isn't that high quality in the first place. He doesn't have a monopoly like Google does. He doesn't own Android. He doesn't own the iPhone like Apple. And he's one of the few founders who's still in it. Larry and Sergey are gone. Uh, Jeff Bezos is gone. Steve Jobs is gone. Um, you know, a lot of the founders are gone. Bill Gates is gone. So uh, don't underestimate a motivated founder with resources who's in it for the long haul. I would say that out of the big incumbent companies, uh, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Zuck has it the toughest. He starts with the worst position on the board. Facebook has the lowest monopoly. He has the least technology because it's not fundamentally a technology company. It's a social network. He's faced the most disruptions. Uh, he has the weakest moat. Yet, I think he is the fiercest competitor. And so I would not count him off the board. His big issue is going to be what all the big companies face, which is keeping the key talent. He's going to have a hard time keeping the key talent because he's in Silicon Valley, so they can all go to Silicon Valley AI startups, including OpenAI. And he's going to have a hard time keeping talent because he's not fundamentally known as a tech company. And so he has to make it really, really, really clear that he's going to be tech-focused and AI-focused to have a chance here to keep the key talent. That's the real problem that all the big companies have right now in the AI race. Everyone is leaving to small companies or starting small companies. Okay, it's a Schrodinger's dunk. Uh, whether it's a dunk or not depends on uh, the answer to my question. And my question boils down to whether Meta's uh, failed pivot into virtual reality is indicative of a broader uh, issue, broader problem with the organization, broader inability to successfully execute pivots, or if... Uh, they only failed at uh, that specific pivot due to factors specific to that pivot, uh, e.g. the uh, difficulty of uh, of hardware uh, related to virtual reality. And yeah, that's that's actually my my question: is is Meta able to successfully execute pivots, uh, and was that? Uh, and not a representative case or are they or are there some organizational problems that uh, make it un unlikely that they will succeed at the next pivot day attempt as well depending on the answer it is or is not a dunk it is a point in meta's favor that they are even willing and ready to attempt such radical pivots giving the scale of the organization that's probably a precondition for long-term survival for any tech giant. Uh, and I have no doubts about Zuckerberg. Uh, his hands are clearly on the steering wheel. The question is whether the wheels are able to execute his will as intended. And this I genuinely do not know. Paradoxically, the recent layoffs at Meta make me more optimistic that they can pull this off. Because one, it by definition makes the organization leaner, more agile and more able to execute sharp terms. And uh, two, they probably uh, didn't lay off their top talent and uh, X thousand engineers. Uh, they probably cut the lard uh, and uh, preemptively hired. So... Yeah, probably actually a good thing. Revising probability of a successful pivot into AI upwards. And for context and full disclosure, uh, this is not coming from a ha-ha, screw Facebook place. This is coming from a place of, hmm, 
I own some shares and now I'm wondering whether to keep them, sell them or buy more. The hardest problem is not does the company succeed or not. It's that was the founder able to even pull off a pivot in the first place or was there a founder available to pull off a pivot? I mean, if you look at Google's pathetic attempt to pivot towards AI versus how Meta at least made a serious run at AR VR, then I think you would be hard pressed to say that Zuck can't pivot the company. Whereas you could look at Google and say, wow, they really can't pivot. So I think that alone proves um, Zuck's mettle. It's very, very, very hard to pivot a large company. And the fact that he even managed to do it once is a big deal. Secondly, no one has won in VR AR yet. So you can't even say he's lost. Um, and so, and he, he is in the pole position right now. I guess the Apple glasses will be great, but they don't exist yet. So at least in reality, um, he is ahead of everybody else. If VR AR were to have a victor today, it would be Meta, but they're still pretty far from it, obviously. Well, I don't like buying or trading individual stocks, but I would say that um, if everything else remains equal, Meta will benefit from this as investors look for AI plays that are public and Meta becomes a premier one or tries to position itself as one of the premier ones. So I think it's a reasonable bet. Yeah, Google seems to be in a worse position. Like every one of their core uh, activities, somebody else is uh, doing better or on the verge of starting to do better. Bing is now more useful for search than Google. Um, the Office Suite is, uh, well, they're probably going to get beaten by Microsoft to uh, deployment of uh, useful AI in uh, productivity tools. And anyway, uh, MS Office can do more and is better than the Google tools, in my opinion. Um, okay, they have the Android ecosystem, but if uh, Apple comes up, comes out with uh, locally run language models or something of that sort and personalized AI, they are going to take a huge chunk out of that market as as well. Uh, I guess they have YouTube, but then Twitter is uh, planning uh, natively ho hosted video. I don't know, man. It seems like Google is under siege from, from all sides. And as you say, uh, not as able to, to pivot. So maybe that's, that's the one to be more pessimistic about. And by their own admission, no mode in AI. My cynical take on this is that any large organization is always under attack and siege by its HR accounting and legal units. And if it doesn't have a founder in charge, eventually it gets overrun and then becomes a bureaucracy. And that is unfortunately where Google is. So maybe the way to look at what Meta is doing is uh, the outcome of a pivot is not guaranteed, but an outcome is guaranteed if you don't pivot. And in that sense, again, their ability to even try is a strong point in their favor. Absolutely. Great way to put it. Your Twitter practice is showing through. It looks like they just need a little bit of work on the south side. One observation about Meta and their pivot into virtual reality. Uh, I think one failure point that they encountered was that they executed well on the technical aspects but they didn't invest much or were not experienced enough with the design, the human and the aesthetics aspects of it. Basically, the worlds that they have created in virtual reality were not attractive enough for the general population. So that's a design issue. Virtual reality is not very well meshed with social media because uh, it's a very antisocial thing to do to just sit in front of... Um, with a virtual reality headset on your head and talk to other virtual characters. It's in a way awkward. Uh, virtual reality is more fit for the gaming side of things. I think Zuck was desperate for his own platform because he hated being held hostage by Android and iPhone. He just didn't want to be serving the oligopoly. And so he needed his own compute platform. And he extrapolated from the past desktops to phones to headsets. But it turns out now that AI might be that computing platform. And so he's shifting heavily towards it. I don't think he cares which platform. He just wants his own platform. 
I think he's a little more savvy than that. Maybe he spent a lot of money on it, but a billion here or there or several billion here or there may not be a big deal to a $100 billion run rate company. But I figure he thought that either the best case, they were going to create the platform that was going to take over. Worst case, they would be in a great position to be the Android once Apple figures out the correct product for this market. Right. HR, accounting, and legal are arms of the government inside your company with unlimited power of violence.